Hi, everyone. This is Linda. Um, this is all thanks to Karen Charles. I have to give her all the credit for this. This was absolutely wonderful. When you're doing appliques on your machine, you sometimes don't know what the stop command is. You do, but you have to stop and think, okay, I need to lay my fabric, and then I need to stop, and then I need to trim my fabric. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a dummy thread cache that's going to allow us to insert color changes that's going to tell us what to do where. And we're going to do that in the MySoNet Platinum software. Um, it can be done in the older versions of the software too. You just have to learn how to do that. So let's get started. When you're doing an applique, what happens when you're stitching an applique out? Your machine, um, if I play it here in the software, I get this where it stops and it says, place my applique fabric. But in the machine, it just stops, doesn't tell me what to do. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a dummy thread database that's going to tell us what to do. So again, cut around the fabric. So I'm going to cancel out of here. So to do that, I need to create a thread database that lets me insert colors that has that command in it. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Configure. And then I'm going to go to Utilities. This is in my Sonet. If you are in the older software, it's going. The, it's down here in the bottom. And again, in a Mac, I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but it's a. There's a place for you to insert your thread cache. So I'm going to go to thread cache. I'm already have one created called Applique, but I'm going to. I'll create a brand new one just for your perp so you can see this. I'm going to do add new database, and I'll call this Applique two or app to just so that we have something I'm gonna do okay and now I need to add colors to this so I'm going to come down here where it says add new thread I'm gonna type in place fabric and it has to be in the thread number and in the thread name you have to put something in thread name otherwise it doesn't accept it so I've just put place fabric again it's not going to hurt anything single color it's fine. It doesn't matter what it is. We're just going to use that particular color. Now I need to do a second one that lets me tells me to trim my fabric. So I'm going to do add new thread. I'm going to do trim and trim fabric. You could actually just type anything you wanted to in here. I'm going to change the color so it doesn't try and do a color sort on me. I'm going to just pick on another. Doesn't matter on that color wheel. Just whatever. I'm going to do OK. So I now have two threads in my thread database. And I'm going to do close. And I'm going to close out of here. And so when I play this, remember, it's going to right now it's going to tell me to stop. It stops and it does all that stuff. I'm going to take this over to Stitch Editor. I want to do a right mouse. I'm going to click on my design, right mouse. I have to fix it as stitches first. Fix as stitches. Then I can do a right mouse, edit into Stitch Editor. And when it comes here, I'm going to actually look for my first command, which is my one of my stop commands. And you have the ability down here in the bottom, and you can draw to next stop, which is not a color change. This, if I wanted to do another color change, but I only have one color. So I want to go to my next stop. So it's going to stop right here. And I'm going to zoom into that area here. Click, hold, and drag. And then I'm going to move my marker here, and I'm going to make some of these stitches go away. So I'm going to get all the way. This is at 116 is where it ends. I'm going to change this to 115. So it gets rid of everything, so I'm not trying to do something, uh, grab something. So I'm going to go to Modify. I'm going to do Insert a Color Command, and I'm going to click right there where that S is at. And now what I want to do is change this to my new thread database I just created, click on place fabric and do OK. Now I need to get rid of that stop. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to delete that command and I'm going to hit delete commands and I'm going to hit delete. So now you notice that it did change the color. So I know if I slide my mouse over the top of this color over here, it says place fabric. So cool. That's what I'm actually going to see in my sewing machine. So now I want to go to the next stop command which is here. And so again, I'm going to zoom in so I can actually see what I'm, you know, you don't have to get too terribly close, but fairly close. And again, I have a stitch number 323. So I'm going to make this 322 because you have to actually have a stitch available for this to work. Insert a color change, 
click on the S. We're going to change this to trim fabric. And now I want to get rid of that S. I'm going to do delete command and I'm going to do delete. And now if you notice, I now have a new color change here. Draw all stitches. And so there are three different colors displayed, but it is going to give me my information. Now you could probably use the same color if you wanted to. You just have to change the the name of it but it will stop as if it's got a color change and but if it's the same color you're going to run into if color sorting so that becomes a problem so now what i can do is i'm going to go out of here if i play this it's not going to look like anything because what's going to happen is there's no stop commands anymore but on my screen it will say when it gets ready to do the red it's going to actually say this area here, even though I'm not changing my color, it says place my fabric. And that's what's showing on my machine. Just like if I get here and it says trim my fabric, that's what I'm actually going to see on my machine. I think this is the coolest idea. And I have to, again, thank Karen Charles for doing this. And it's even easier if you're in Create. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to Create and I'm going to go into Digitizing. I'm going to create an applique over there, and I can kind of do the same situation. Nothing. Next. I don't care about that. I'm going to do quick create, no pattern fill. I'm going to leave it at a satin line. I want an applique. I want a shape, and I'm going to make it larger. I need to break this apart, so I'm going to go into um, edit. I'm going to select break apart. And it will break all my pieces here. I'm going to go where the stop command is. Right mouse. Insert a color change. And I'm going to go again. Find my applique. Place fabric. Do OK. I'm going to get rid of that stop. Right mouse. Delete. Here again. Insert color change. Pick on the trim fabric get rid of the stop the reason I'm getting rid of the stop it's it's one of those things when you're on your machine what happens is it does the running stitch then it stops and you, because it says there's a stop command there and then you have to hit start stop again for it to do this next step so by eliminating that stop you've eliminated that second um, stopping so it would do this it's going to stop for you to color, change the color what you're really not changing color you're going to place your fabric again remember that color now is place fabric um, thank you Karen Charles this was great I never would have thought of this and with your experiences it sure is going to make um, life a little bit easier on our machines thanks